Remain, you know me, I know a thing or two about a thing or two about 3D CAD modeling. What I don't know much about is, well, how to get rid of audio reverb in a room shaped like a church hall. And I don't know the first thing either about 3D printing, which is a bit odd given that for the first three years of this channel's existence, it was a 3D CAD tutorial channel. And in that time, an entire industry of 3D printing just blew up, just emerged from the ashes and exploded into what it is today. And I never, I never once looked at it, even though I was at the height of this 3D CAD tutorial channel. Yeah, it just seemed the perfect thing to then move into, but I never did for various reasons. I'll not get into it, but I didn't. Uh, by the way, this is not going to be a video about 3D printing. I still, for this second, don't know the first thing about it. This is more about the printer that I bought, and I need some help. I need some advice from the people who will probably own something similar, some tips and some feedback and guidance on what I can do with it. Yeah, but over the years I was running this channel, I was secretly hoping a 3D printing company would kind of seed me one. Just so that would be the start of me getting involved with the push that I needed, because I just couldn't justify the, the time. And that would have been the kick that I needed. It never happened. There was no expectations. It never happened. But one company did actually send me a 3D printer. It was just, it was just shit. It was this orange thing. I had never heard of them. It was like a Prusa or something. It was, I chat joke. It wasn't. How many people were triggered there? Probably weren't, is it? Yeah. It doesn't look anything like one. No, it, it was a 70 quid Labists thing. And uh, it's not even a Labists. It's one of these OEM things that you'll find under various different names. And right, oh, look, I understand a lot of the issues I had with it were probably down to me. And with enough time tweaking and fiddling, I could have probably got around a lot of the frustrations I had with it. But because my time was so squeezed over the years with having multiple jobs and the YouTube gig, I just couldn't justify putting the time into this, knowing that this was just inherently probably a very shit 3D printer. But the build volume was really small. That, that alone just sort of put me off using it because I knew I couldn't print anything very big. Uh, the print quality was really poor. It was just, stuff was just disintegrating straight off of it. The, the slicer that came with it was crap. And I was trying different slices, but again, I, was, I just felt no motivation to use it because I just didn't feel like the time that I was putting into it was really going to ever go anywhere knowing how bad this probably was. So anyway, yeah, I gave up with it in the end and then chucked it in the loft and that was it. That was the brush that I had with 3D printing a couple of years ago. Now, this is a me thing. I don't want to make a big deal about it. I haven't really mentioned it at all. It's not relevant that much, but I suppose it is. Now, over the next six months, I'm going to be a full-time YouTuber. I've discontinued my full-time job, let's say. And uh, I'm going to make a go of this channel after doing it for eight years. Uh, it's make or break, pretty much. Uh, so hence the sponsored video you saw maybe this morning, picked a chart, graphics design, a service. I only be doing that for stuff I actually believe in and I feel is really good. But for the next six months, I'm going to have as much time as I need to, to work on stuff like this, 3D printing. And that's something I want to get more involved in. And I've got the time now. So, over the last couple of days, I've went deep down the rabbit hole of 3D printing. <laughs> Jesus Christ, on a pedal bike, is that a deep rabbit hole? Thank you so much to everyone who's been giving me feedback and advice on which one to get. The one I've went for is this one yet. <laughs> bad. Great. The Creality Ender 5 Pro. Right, why this one? I'll talk first about the ones I didn't get. Originally, I was wanting the Flash Forge Adventure of Four, because I've got two ragdoll cats. They're house cats, and if anyone owns a ragdoll out there, it's probably the same for pretty much all cats. I mean, I've owned lots of cats, but ragdolls specifically, they like to sit on things that they shouldn't sit on. So anything like a plate or a circle or, the, or a box, they like to be in things and sitting on things. They like to jump on surfaces, they like to be up a height. So I wanted a 3D printer that was an enclosed surface. Uh, or an enclosed box, and this is not. So yeah, this wasn't top of my list. The Adventure of Four, for example, or the Adventure of Three, they are enclosed systems. So I was looking at those. But the Adventure of Four is 700 pound, it's a bit too much. And the Adventure of Three, that's only got a build volume of 120 cubed. That can't even print like a, a phone case from my Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, so I ruled that one out. The Prushers, those were high on the list of recommendations from a lot of people, but the lead time on those was five to six weeks. I wanted something quicker than that. And still, they're 700 pounds, 900 if they come fully assembled. 
and I felt that price point is just way too high for someone who's just getting started. So I then started looking at Amazon and a, there was quite a few on Amazon. There was the likes of the one called Abibo, which had dual extruders and laser engraving, but didn't want to go for something that wasn't all that well known just in case I had issues with it. So that's when I landed on Creality. Originally, I was going to go for the end of threes, either a V2 or a Max, but long story, uh, I found this one on a UK retailer for £286, whereas the Ender 3 V2 was 276 on Amazon. And I just felt like given how close in price this one was to the 3 V2, this just seemed like a no-brainer. Noise was an issue. One of the lads in my Discord server, advice was just priceless. Thanks so much for the advice I got. I was saying how this used to be quite a noisy device and he was recommending some silent motherboard upgrades, but fortunately, some of the later models of these do come with the silent motherboards and the silent stepper upgrades, and this one apparently has that. So this is the silent model. So that's all built into it, and this is the one I ended up landing for. At the moment, I'm not sure where it's going to go. It's massive, uh, but that's a future problem. It's not enclosed. Again, I just had to, I had to cope with that. It's just something I'm going to have to deal with for the cats. But yeah, that's the one I ended up going for, and mostly went for it because of the big community around Creality and all the mods and stuff that I saw you can get for these and how customizable they are. And that's kind of why I'm making this video. I'm just looking for some feedback and some guidance from people who, who've got these. Just tips and tricks for things that people would tend to recommend going for. Little add-ons, little mods, settings perhaps, default. I don't know. I, I don't even know what you refer to the settings as. Just slicer settings or whatever that people would put into these is just a, a get getting started sort of point. I also know that I've got a pretty lengthy build process ahead of me. So if anyone's got recommendations for a really good, easy to follow build guide, I'd be happy to hear that. Put that down in the comments below. Or again, pop over my Discord server. Link will be in the description if you want to join my Discord server. And I'll chat about it there. What I'm not all that jazzed about, mate, is the two puncture wounds in the box here. I don't have a good track record with boxes and puncture wounds, I can tell you that for now. <laughs> my eyes just glance towards the front of the chair, and there's a f***ing what looks like a knife wound in the front of the base unit. I don't know if you've seen me DX Racer video, but yeah. Anyway, hopefully there's no damage with that. This is the one I've ended up going for, the Creality Ender 5 Pro. At the moment, I don't have anything to build. I'm not a maker as such. I don't have anything that I want to use it for. It's mostly just to get into the world of 3D printing, understand it more, and then possibly use it for content on the channel. I, I've got this rule that I don't make a video on anything unless I can hold an argument on it and that I'm pretty much an expert on the subject matter. I'm far from that with 3D printing. So yeah, I've got a long way to go before I can start knocking out content on this, but you know, given my skills with 3D modeling, it just seems like something that we really should be looking into and at least having it as an option is something up my sleeve. But anyway, I'm offering now on laboring points, so that'll do. Thanks very much for watching. Again, any tips, any feedback, drop it down in the comments below. Any experiences you've got with this, we're happy to hear about it. Uh, let us know down below. Thanks very much. I'll see you in the next one. Toodles.